Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I am going to do a little bit of code refactoring. So once we receive the response, the only things which we cared about are status code and the response data. So instead of storing them in the form of individual variable, it is better to represent them in the form of object. That means it is better to create a class that will act as a placeholder for status code and the response data. And again, this approach is purely a design approach. You can opt to it or you can just follow the normal pattern of storing them in an individual variable. So I'm going to add one more directory in our project and let me call it as model. Inside this, I'm going to create a class called rest response. Now inside this class, I will have private variable that will represent the status code and the response data. So first I'm going to make this class as public and then create two private variable. One is for the status code and another one for the response data. So private int status code, private string response data. And in order to initialize this variable, I will use constructor. So public rest response. The argument to this constructor will be status code. And response data. Okay and I will initialize my private variable inside this constructor. So this dot status code equal to the status code which is getting passed in a, as an argument to this constructor. This dot response data equal to response data. Okay. Along with this, I'm going to create two getter property which will return the value of this two variable. So public int status code and inside this property, I will have only getter. So get return status code. Similarly, one more property for response content. So public string response content. Again, it will have only get return response data. Okay. Along with this, I'm going to override the two string method. So when you invoke the two string method on the instance of this particular class, you can get the result in a desired format. So I will use public override two string method. And here I'm going to use a method called string dot format. Basically, this method is used to output the string in a specific format. So string dot format, my format is something like this status code and response data. So this will be status code and response data. So during the runtime, this value will be replaced by the status code and this value will be replaced by the response data. So when I invoke the two string on this instance, it will give the output in this format. Now once this is done, I will go back to my test. So here I will create the instance of rest response. rest response equal to new rest response and now I can use the constructor to initialize the two private variable which we define inside this. So first is the status code and second is your response data. Okay and let me just comment out the console statement and here I will use console dot right line invoke the two string method on the instance yeah this one again build our solution and rerun this test method so if you look at the output you can see here this is the output 